what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new here to the channel i'd like you to consider hitting subscribe also hit that bell icon to get notified when i make new content also jump in the comments down below and leave me a comment with that other way i'm pretty excited about today's video or today's video we're talking about andrew's custom leather holsters uh, i've seen this guy's holsters before on youtube uh, Hank Strange does a lot of videos. He must be an ambassador for him. That's how I, I found it actually. And the guy makes fantastic holsters. But there's one in particular holster that I liked out of everything. It is called the Carjacker. I'm wearing it now with my P365. I got two of these holsters. I got one for the P365 XL and I got one for my Smith & Wesson Pug Nose 327 8 shot revolver. Uh, I'm going to be making a bunch of videos on these holsters, so bear with me. This is just an introduction to Andrew's custom leather uh, because, you know, I want to just get you guys a little familiar with it. I do a lot of holster reviews here. There's only a handful that I, not a handful, there's only a few that I really enjoy carrying and using. And we'll touch base on that in, in future videos. But right now, we're going to be talking about the Andrew's custom leather holsters. And to me, this particular one, the Carjacker, is the one I was after. I will be getting more from him for sure in the future because I do love leather more than I like Kydex. There's a, a time and a place for Kydex, time and a place for leather. But for me personally, we'll get into reasons why I like this particular one, possibly in another video. This one here, I just want to get you guys familiar with the holster, the style of it, and Andrews Custom Holsters. Uh, Sam Andrews is the owner of the company. They're out of Florida. Fantastic guy. Uh, his partner, Annie, who runs things in the office, she was great to deal with. I reached out to them. They sent me two of these holsters to check out and review. Uh, I'm not being paid or persuaded to say anything good or bad about them. Again, I wanted to use this holster for a while, so I finally reached out and, and pulled the trigger on it. So I have both of these holsters, but in this video here, we're just going to be going over the SIG P365 XL one. Again, just to get you guys familiar on what this holster is about and their company. So without further ado, we're going to hop down the bench, take a quick look at it, and then I'm going to show you how it goes on, how it comes off, and the features and functions of it. So let's jump down the bench and take a look. All right, so a quick dive on the table here with the Andrews Custom Holster. Let's take the P365 XL out of there and get a look at it. I chose it in this nice uh, chocolate traditional color with the white stitching. I like the contrast. Stitching is excellent on it. Got your snap here for that goes around your belt. Got your Corbin screw here and your retention screw here. Inside you see a rubber grommet. Inside of the holster there's nothing sharp, nothing that's going to score up your firearm. Come around the back side, there's your other snap because your belt is going to ride in here so this thing doesn't wiggle around on you on your belt. This is the back side of your retention screw and your Corbin screw over here. Just a very nice holster, this is how it goes on once again. You're going to unsnap that, unsnap this, bring it up around your belt, snap that, snap this, and again your belt's going to live inside there. So this is what it looks like. Uh, again, fit and finish on this thing is fantastic. Been wearing this thing for just close to a month now. And I'll tell you what, it's a dream. Awesome, awesome design. We're going to hop out here and show you what it looks like on the body. Okay, so here is the car jacker sitting on the belt where you should have it riding on your belt. Most jeans, you're going to have a, a loop right here. So it's sitting up against that loop. So when you go to pull it, the holster doesn't slide. You can position it wherever you want. You can slide it farther over here if you want, if you got long arms to reach it. And you can get it out without sliding, but chances are it'll probably slide on you, so it's nice just to keep it right here. And also another tip is when it's right here and you're sitting down and your leg comes up, the handle is right in that crease. So this thing isn't digging into your leg at all, so which makes it super, super comfortable to wear. You forget you even have this thing on you. It's just such a dream to carry. This position is perfect. So you'll grab and you'll go to deploy your firearm reholster nice and easy also another thing here is when you're sitting down like i said if you were to sit down like this let me turn so you can see that if you're sitting down the barrel right here if a round were to eject it's going to come and pass you it's not going to hit your body it's not going to go into your femoral artery if you were carrying appendix it's not going to you know mess your chances up if you ever having kids in the future so you don't have to worry about that so this is just an absolute dream to carry your firearm in this position and also if you're sitting in the car with a seatbelt across you that's why it's called the carjacker because you can just get it and you could deploy it right away. Excellent. Easy to take it on and off if you had to run into a, a, a bank or a post office or something and you had to stick it in your glove box and lock it. Unsnap here. There's a snap behind here and slide it off. Putting it back on just as easy. Slide it up from the back. Get it into position. Snap it here. 
There's a snap behind the belt that keeps it with the proper cant. And there you go, it's back on. It's just a dream to carry this thing. I'm telling you right now, guys, this is the most comfortable holster ever. Also, if you're, you know, have a tactical muffin top like me or a bigger guy, a carry, carrying an appendix just doesn't work. Carrying on your side, your pants tend to fall down. Carrying here in the front with this carjacker style, this cross draw, is just fantastic for a bigger guy. This is, this is the way to go. This is the way to carry if you're a heavy set guy and you're just tired of your jeans falling down, not being able to carry your firearm comfortably. Let's face it, if it's not comfortable to carry, guys, you're not going to carry it. So having this here and being able to just deploy it, it just makes it just makes life so much easier and again having this thing on in this position here you, you you really forget you have your firearm on you you really do because normally when it's on your side at three o'clock or four o'clock your pants <clears throat> excuse me your pants tend to fall down you're always checking it here in the front it just i don't know it just stays it just doesn't move your pants don't fall down it's just fantastic and like i said it's just boom it's right there if you were sitting in your car that's why it's called the carjacker and you have your seat belt coming down across it's not going to interfere with this you can still get out your firearm and you can deploy it so again awesome awesome setup great holster taking it off you're going in somewhere again pop it right off just two snaps you got your snap here and your snap in the back and your belt your belt lives inside here it goes across in here so that keeps it right in place so it won't twist or turn on you Got your retention screw so you don't have to worry about this thing falling out. It's it's not going anywhere. It's not going to come out. Fantastic, fantastic holster. All right, so some final thoughts on this particular video. This holster, again, I can't stress enough the comfortability factor. If a holster is not comfortable, you are not going to wear it. Nor are you going to carry your firearm because you're not going to have your holster on you. So it goes hand in hand. You have to have something that's comfortable, a system that works for you. This one works for me. It may not work for you, but I'll tell you what right now. I've tried hundreds and hundreds of holsters and this one here is bar none the most comfortable holster i've ever worn all right guys you got any questions or comments leave them down below be sure to hit a like on the video and we'll see you guys in the next one